The next item is item five. The whips of both parties have raised with me the possibility of withdrawing the motion in your agenda and replacing it with two motions on the same subject. In order to achieve this, I have agreed with the whips and the leaders that we suspend standing orders in order to allow new motions to be moved. Does council agree? Thank you. I now call upon Councillor Osborne to withdraw his motion and move fresh motions which have been circulated. First motion. Um, I will, uh, as Madam Mayor suggests, first of all, withdraw the original uh, motion that was uh, submitted uh, by the minority group. Um, and if I may uh, propose uh, two uh, reconfigurations of that original text um, briefly, simply to say this is rather an unusual procedure, but these are very unusual times. What Wandsworth has been through uh, has been um, uh, very special to Wandsworth. I think some of the events that have taken place in Wandsworth are serious and unique. Um, and that calls, if we can, for us to uh, see if we can achieve some cross-party consensus on some elements of it. So I ask the forbearance of council. Uh, in moving the two, or the first of the two, reconfigurations of the original text. It's the first motion, Councillor Osborne. Thank you. Um, Councillor Cook. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Bear. I um, second that, uh, that motion. Now the second motion, Councillor Osborne. Okay, yes, thank you. And I also move the second of the reconfigurations of the original text. Councillor Leone Cooper, although I don't have to say Councillor Leone Cooper, do I really? <laughs> I'm Councillor Cooper. Uh, no, Madam Mayor, there's only one Councillor Cooper in the chamber currently. Um, I'd like to, I think it's all a bit confusing, but the original motion was 11724, uh, and I'm going to call them 724A and B, and I'm seconding 724B, and I think um, hopefully that will be clear to everybody. Thank you, Councillor Cooper. I now reinstate standing orders. Is that agreed? There is also amendment to one of these motions. I will now ask Councillor Cooker to move the amendment to the second motion. Councillor Cook. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'd like to uh, move uh, our amendment to the second motion. Councillor Cousins. I do formally second that uh, amendment. Council will now debate these two motions and the amendment together. Votes on all three will be taken at the conclusion of the debate. Councillor Os Osborne. Um, ha thank you, Madam Mayor. Having moved, I will reserve my comments now, do everything formally and reserve my comments until the end of the discussion. Thank you. Councillor Cook. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I, I welcome the first motion uh, because I believe that it is uh, very important that we are able to, if at all possible, send out a, uh, a clear message of consensus regarding uh, some of the events of, uh, of, the, of, uh, of early August uh, in the borough. Um, the second uh, opposition motion, though, I believe is a different matter uh, and attempts to use the events of the 8th of August uh, as a platform to question police numbers and funding. Regrettably, it misrepresents the budgetary and police number situation, and so I'd like to begin by offering some facts. At a time of enormous budgetary pressure and declining budgets generally, the Mayor has put an additional £42 million into policing London. Recruitment has recommenced, the first force in the country to do so, and by 2012, there will be 1,000 more officers uh, compared to when he uh, entered office that is 32,300, just over, compared with 31,300. Special constables have almost doubled to well over 4,500, with a rise in Wandsworth alone from 30 to almost 100 in just three years. Police visibility on our streets is higher than ever, with a 50% rise in single patrols. And at the same time, the MPA have already made £100 million worth of savings through more efficient use of buildings, vehicles, uh, and rationalisation of catering models. Uh, those are just a few of the examples of ways in which uh, matters have been reviewed and reorganised. Um, one has to ask, 
why were these things not done in the labor years? It almost seems to be in the DNA of the party opposite to confuse money spent with the results achieved. Uh, one does not necessarily lead to another, and money alone is not the answer. The evidence is that the public overwhelmingly understand this, and I think it's very important that the points I've just made uh, are made uh, to, to, to reassure uh, public concern on that point. Um, the party opposite has saddled this country with one of the largest debts in the developed world, and a structural deficit of some 150 billion pounds. Against that background, it's a remarkable achievement and testament to its importance that police numbers are increasing in London and those resources targeted where they will have most impact. I believe that is a very important uh, statement of context uh, if I now move to, if I may, uh, to the events of 8th of August itself. And I do think we should pause uh, and recognize what the police faced that night in Wandsworth. It was without parallel, unprecedented, uh, and let us hope, unique. The police readily admit that they still do not fully understand what occurred. Flash mob violence is a shorthand used for what they acknowledge was outside of their experience uh, and indeed frame of reference. I would like to pay a tribute, as many of my colleagues have already done, uh, to the police. They faced an appalling dilemma on the 8th of August. One can and should question operational priorities and ask why events developed as they did. But CCTV, which we've been seeing this evening, uh, clearly shows the sustained efforts of small groups of officers in light riot gear being pelted with bricks and lumps of concrete uh, as they fought on St. John's Road, it seems quite incredible still, quite surreal, to, to hold back mobs and many times their number, many times their number. The personal bravery of the officers concerned was remarkable uh, and the fact that there were not more injuries uh, is, is a mercy. The police had intelligence that unrest was uh, developing, of course, but it was mostly unverified single source intelligence. Some locations seem more plausible than others. Uh, many proved to be entirely false. For example, intelligence suggested there would be disorder in Croydon on Sunday. There wasn't. It looked much the same for Monday night, but events, as we know, were completely different. Judgments had to be made. Perfect hindsight, of course, uh, is a wonderful thing. Uh, and it's uh, regrettable that one's with... Uh, that so many of ones with uh, public order trained officers uh, were deployed to Croydon on the 8th of August. But the decision about Croydon proved to be all too accurate, uh, not so for Wandsworth. Wandsworth was, has been one of the safest boroughs in London for many years, uh, the safest in inner London, uh, and it's easy with hindsight to, uh, to criticize decisions made, but who here could honestly say they foresaw major civil unrest uh, at Clapham Junction of all places? Um, many, if not all of us, will have had contact with residents and traders with horrifying accounts of their experiences of events. My own ward is in the heart of the, the disorder. Uh, and the police are especially conscious, I know from talking to them, that some people, particularly around Clapham Junction, felt let down and traumatized and that they have a task ahead of them in rebuilding shaken confidence. It is clear that all of us, including the police, have much to learn in a process we have just begun uh, to understand what happened on the 8th of August. There is a critical challenge in understanding the role of social networking sites. Hard questions need to be asked about the numbers of public order trained police. These questions and many others will be looked at by the reviews currently underway at city level and locally. And we need to understand as much as we can about what happened. But in thinking about police tactics, we should also keep in mind that we have an unarmed police force which polices by consent and ask where we might be headed if we harden that resource. We might gain operational capability, but we would surely lose other things. It is a sobering fact that baton rounds were available uh, in Croydon on the 8th of August, uh, and it's only down to the, uh, the good judgment of the police officer in command that night that they were not used. Uh, had they been used, it would have opened up an altogether more grim dimension uh, to what happened. I think we should be grateful uh, for that. Some have criticized the police, some have criticized the police and seem to imply that events at Clapham Junction might have turned out differently uh, had there been more of them there. We don't really know. But I think we should be absolutely clear. The crime and disorder that took place was the responsibility of the perpetrators, not the police. Insufficient officers stationed in Wandsworth did not lead to uncontrolled, uncontrolled crime and disorder. The actions of rioters led to uncontrolled crime and disorder. Police tactics may be found wanting, 
that the riots were not caused by lack of police. They were caused by individuals determined to create mayhem. I get the person in the gallery who's speaking, gentleman, third row, short sleeve shirt, I'm correct? Any more interruptions, I'll have you evicted. Do you understand? Continue. Thank you, Madam Mayor. That will be the note of humour for the evening, I suppose. Um, I think we need to uh, recognise, too, as we already have done, that there are many positives to come out of the horrors of the 8th of August. Uh, the decent majority have made their feelings very clear, uh, epitomised by the Broome Army, the Debenhams Wall, and events such as Battersea Buzz. Support for the police has been notable, with a huge response to requests for information. Uh, they're still working through it, even now, and a surge in interest in Neighbourhood Watch and uh, establishment of new... Uh, of new um, uh, new residents associations, which is very much to be welcomed. The overwhelming majority support the rigorous investigation still underway by the police, and the police should derive great confidence from that. Many have noted the immense hard work that the police have undertaken since the disturbances and in pursuing those responsible and engaging with the local community. Uh, again, a very positive thing. Those who have attended some of the public meetings will have been struck, as I have, by the diversity and eloquence of views expressed and the desire from all of those to understand what happened. If we find or build new relationships and understandings in our community, then something of value will have come out of all of this. I want also to turn to SNTs, uh, if, if I may, the subject of the, uh, the amendment, um, and again be very clear about facts. Um, I would suggest that the, uh, the second Labour motion conflates two entirely separate issues. The events of 8th of August were rare and extreme against a background of low crime in Wandsworth. The best SNTs in the country would not have been able to prevent or respond to what happened that night. SNTs are not per se public order trained, although some of the officers involved may have that experience. Uh, and they will only ever be one part among many in a response to events of such magnitude. I want to offer emphatic reassurance to anyone concerned by the uh, suggestion, some of these papers, um, that SNTs are and will remain the cornerstone of community safety in the borough. And to be fair, the opposition motion does at least recognize that fact. All our SNT teams are being maintained using the same structure supervised by sergeants, some of whom will cover two wards rather than one, according to the specific local need. There will also be a more flexible use of this resource, allowing for them to be grouped to tackle and problem solve some of our more persistent crime and disorder issues, but always working within the SNT role. This evolution has been suggested by officers themselves and represents an intelligent distribution of a precious resource aligned to local need, rather than the one-size-fits-all approach. The fact that we have the lowest crime in inner London, a fact not acknowledged in the Labour motion, is testament to how effective Wandsworth S&Ts uh, are and will remain. Um, I would like to end, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Madam Mayor, by just, uh, just pointing out that uh, had Labour remained in power, uh, police numbers would have fallen, uh, and that should be remembered. Um, and I, I do very much hope that we can all begin to understand the events of 8th of August, do whatever we can uh, to prevent it ever happening, happening again, uh, and move on in a strong and purposeful manner. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Councillor Cook.